Hey crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and I'm back again with another pour. Um, so this is the start of me basically revamping my desk. This is a very old, we're gonna say heirloom that's been in my basement for a very long time and I use it but as you guys may very well know I re-papered my desk earlier in the year and I think it looks nice so I wanted to make some pieces that are um, nicely contrasted with it so next week I'm going to be doing my scissor jar that sits on my desk lives on my desk really I won't be able to change my hook pot thing cup I made you know because of well it's pottery so you know anyway without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get pouring this uh, theme since my desk is like a white and gray marble I figure why not do a little contrast with a little black, white, and gray. I'm sorry, black, white, and gold. And I am going to start shifting this around. Got some cells popping up in here. Cool. Wasn't expecting that in my resin. So, yeah, I'm pouring with resin. I'm also going to put a little gold. This gold will dry darker than how it appears on camera. Don't worry. I'm also going to. Shift that around. Now, I didn't want the gold to be as glossy as the rest of it, so it doesn't have the resin in it, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna grab my towel, but it does. Some of this does have like a iridescent metal glitter. Glitter, that's the word. It has like a glittery uh, medium in it. So, I forgot which ones. I think the black one does. Anyway. Just wanted to make sure that I cover the entire surface. This is going to mean that I won't be able to use my turntable for a few weeks, which is okay. I'm gonna use my sticks and stuff that I have handy to kind of spread it around the edges. It's kind of thick though, so I might end up swiping it like that, getting those nice cells going on. Different than I was anticipating, but I'm not mad. Okay. 
okay, I might be mad at that, but I'm not mad. <laughs> Overall, I think this is a good um, bore on my side to coat it. I'm just gonna have to turn this bad boy ever so often so that I don't have any shifting, you know. But yeah, I'm happy. It's gonna be a nice, smooth, flat surface. If my resin doesn't dry properly, I'm going to end up um, what am I trying to say? I'm going to end up doing another coat over it. So, yeah. Hey crafties, this is, um, it's been about a week, week and a half since I first did the initial pour on this the turntable thing. It still turns. Um, what I wanted to do was show you guys the effect. Your girl messed up her resin really bad. Like really, really bad. And I wanted to show you guys. I'm calling this a lava pour because it's, it's hard. It hardened up eventually, but it took it took about five and a half days for me to be able to come like for everything to be dry. And so I wanted to show this to you guys before I actually put a solid resin coat. I wanted to like, kind of show you guys. There's ridges. It's like riv ridges in the river of gold. Which is exactly what I wanted. But I was not expecting it to be so freaking textured, guys. Look at that gold. I guess this is why I need to concentrate on painting. Because... So anywho, I'm not going to necessarily reveal what I did because I'm not sure how safe it was when I screwed it up. And yeah, I don't want you guys doing unsafe things. <laughs> Art is about discovery, so you, you kind of figure it out along the way. But I did want to show you guys that. I wanted to show you guys the cells. There is some uh, mega glitter medium in my black paint, actually. And then I put actual gold glitter flakes in my gold paint and the white is just plain but like right here it looks soft and it, it actually kind of kind of is if I stick my nail in there you can kind of see the imprint yeah but it heals so you know probably not gonna do that on the inside again um next time I try this, something like that I'll probably do it on a wood panel and outdoors and not you know this but anywho I'm going to go ahead and cut off. That's all I wanted to show you guys for this segment. And I am going to come back and do an epoxy coating that will fill in all these rivers and ridges that I have in here. I am very excited for this texture. I just, I kind of want to leave it alone, but considering that I put some items on this turntable and, you know, use it, I think I will actually make it all smooth. But anywho, until next time guys, I'll be, you know, chillin'. Okay, so it's been a few more days since the last um, little snippet, so what I'm gonna do is actually pour my resin all over this thing. I'm so excited. So, I have my part A and my part B. Sprinkle this gold. Glitter. 
just spreading it around, uh, kind of shifting where the glitter lies, really. But what I'm going to do is mix a little more resin because it's not enough. Like even if I were to lift this and shift it around, I want, like I said, those rivers to be completely flattened, but I just mostly want the look of the depth as opposed to having the actual depth and texture on the surface. Uh, welcome to this little end segment. I'm outdoors. It's finally, like, the forecast is finally clear. So I can finally get around to working on my little turntable thing. So the thing is, um, whatever happened, I probably screwed up the uh, measurements on the resin. Like the ratio of hardener versus resin. And it's been sticky and wet in my basement for a month. So I'm finally getting outside and finally getting around to um, fixing it, hopefully. 
So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, so here, here's the product in question. As you can see, there's like dips and divots. Um, when I was letting it dry the first go around, it also rained and blew leaves and debris and whatever onto my turntable, which I'm actually, like actually they've settled into the resin and the resin is partially dry at this point. Like I can touch it now and my finger isn't like, well right there, it's really sticky. So anyway, um, I have scraped a little bit off of here but I went to Walmart uh, like I said almost a month ago and I picked up some polyurethane poly polyurethane anyway it's supposed to uh, <laughs> it's supposed to go ahead and harden up this resin now I am going to put my other glove on and as you guys saw I have my mask and respirator on uh, hmm, yeah my poor table this pouring table I call it my poor table now since I'm the only one that uses the backyard. So anywho, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy nature and uh, pour over this. I've watched several videos and, you know, they say this works, so let's hope it works. And if it works, I will be letting you guys know. If not, I will sadly have to trash this thing that's been in my desk forever. Okay, guys, so the poly... poly youth rain? The stuff I can't pronounce. Um, it is dry. I've gone about um, cleaning my surface just because it was outside and yeah I got like pieces of nature in my piece. I will say one thing that I don't like particularly about the um, polyurethane is the fact that it yellowed. It was not supposed to yellow but it did. Um, I don't know if that was a product of leaving it outside for too long or what exactly that was, but it doesn't look yellow on camera, but my white spots are definitely yellow. So I'm just gonna, you know, go back over it with some resin. I've mixed up a batch off camera. I'm gonna give it a little bit more stir. I'm also gonna be sprinkling a little bit more glitter over top of this just to, um, you know, give it that sparkle like I said I mean it's still shimmery but again that, that those chemicals they kind of killed my white thought I saw my I can't find my gold glitter so I'm gonna use the white glitter today and kind of kind of just sprinkle it lightly might give it that diamond effect I don't know Not that you guys can see that on camera. I hope not. <laughs> so now I'm going to go about just putting this clear coat of resin on here. And the resin is actually going to move some of this glitter around. But I just want to make for a smooth surface again since so much... Um, debris and stuff dried into my previous coats of chemicals. This was an unforeseen tragedy. This thing got rained on. It's just good old Missouri summer. Just really spreading it all over this surface. Filling in any dips and divots that I see. And especially those areas where I had those little canyons that I was talking about probably when I um, went over it. It's been a minute since I recorded this. I've already gone about getting like the drips from underneath the thing, so don't have to really worry about that. Just kind of spread. 
spread and the love that I know I poured enough resin on into this cup. And I mean, it doesn't look half bad. It's just that I know I know what it looked like in the first place before I put the polyethylene on there. But I'd rather it do this than to like have to trash the whole project because it wouldn't dry <laughs> for the life of me. This thing would not dry. And so, you know, that was definitely a great solution to a problem. And I should probably get another canister of that just to keep on standby until I figure out this resin. Because I think, well, like most resin is like similar in principle, but, you know, <laughs> stuff happens, you know. I'm not like, you know, your perfect artist at all. So. Everybody makes mistakes, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And it could have been something as simple as, hey, you didn't put enough hardener in there, or you didn't stir it enough, or something along those lines. Because I noticed even with my um, scissor jar that I poured over with you guys, I don't know if this one was before or after this video. Anyway, that one, even that's still a little tacky like not tacky but if I put it on the table and just like put any kind of weight on it and then try to pick it up it it's kind of stuck to the table which works out for me because I have a tendency of knocking things over <laughs> but okay so this hopefully is the last coating it will hopefully remedy all this um, tackiness and all that and I hope you guys enjoyed my little adventure in creating this piece. If so, go ahead, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of color combos you guys would like to see in the future. I don't have any more of these tables, but I do have um, lots of canvas. So I'm always open to doing those kinds of videos. Just again, let me know down in the comments below or fill out the little form in the description box. It'll take you to a Google form. You can fill out, give me your color combos or something, you know. Um, also, feel free to suggest video content. I am pretty much open. I don't mind posting additionally in the week. Don't forget to check out my other social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, you name it. And don't forget to subscribe, you know, support your girl. I want to thank you guys. I am over 300 subscribers at this point and... I wasn't expecting that to happen so fast. Actually, it happened relatively quickly after I um, after I posted about having 200 subscribers. And yeah, it just jumped. So I'm, I'm grateful to you guys. God bless y'all. And until next time, guys, happy making.